Hello, welcome to the app tutorial for the Hayward Army Logic Automation System. Today we're going to show you how to navigate your heater menu. You can see right here I have a pool on the top of the screen. If I want to get into the pool features, I would hit this top area and it would give me all my pool options. I also have a spa on here because this is a pool spa combo. In order to get to my spa, it's very easy. You simply swipe across and now I have all the same options for my spa. And again, if I want to get into the spa features, I would hit the top here and it would show me all my spa features. You can see on both of these, because it's a pool spa combo, they both have a heater icon on here. If I go back, I go into my pool, you can see the heater icon is there as well. Now, when I go into my spa and I go to heater, I have it already set, but it's not on because the filter pump is not on, but the water temperature is set to 99. If I turn it off, everything goes gray. And what that means is that I just disabled my heater. So if I hit it again, I can adjust my temperature to whatever I want, and I can set a schedule to my heater as well. In order for that to turn yellow as if it's heating, my filter pump would actually have to be on because you can't heat with your heater unless your filter pump is on. Now if I go back over to my pool, you can see my filter pump just came on because my water temperature is 72. And then my heater menu here, if I go back into my heater menu, it just turned yellow saying that it turned on the heater and is now heating the water. If I turn my filter pump off again, this would turn blue saying that it does have a set point set for it, but it cannot heat because the water is off. And I go back here to my front screen. It's also important to understand that you always have the ability to do a quick adjustment to your heater from the main screen. Right here, I can adjust the temperature setting, and I just went up to 96. So I was in my spa, and I decided I wanted to raise the temperature. All I would have to do is just touch the top here, slide the slide bar, and would automatically adjust the heater up to 96. And if I feel like it's time to shut the heater off, I don't have to go deeper into the menu if I don't want to. All I have to do is hit this heater icon, and it shut the heater off for me. Thank you for listening to the Hayward OmniLogic Automation System tutorial on how to navigate your heater. Continue to visit Hayward Pool Products at www.hayward.com along with our social media sites for helpful information about your Hayward products.